Hey guys, it's Commander Video here. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing Tucker Carlson versus AOC. So let's get into this. So we'll start in California where I think AOC is going to easily win California. You know, she's, been getting, she's going to be getting huge Hispanic turnout in Los Angeles while Tucker Carlson, Jeff, and Brown Eagle are going to be suppressing the Hispanic vote in Orange County. Um, but it's not going to work because, you know, the Asians come out huge for AOC. So she wins California easily. And then Alaska goes red. Hawaii goes blue. Even more Asians in Hawaii. Arizona goes blue because, you know, Lalo endorses AOC because, you know, we need those wars. You know, Lalo's only in it for the money, and he hates Tucker Carlson. So, you know, John McCain and Lalo doing fiery rallies for AOC in Phoenix and huge Hispanic turnout. It makes Arizona go blue. Utah also goes blue. You know, you know, Thou and an army of simps come off huge for AOC. Um, you know, Thou endorses AOC. You know, you know, her army of simps come out for AOC. Um, Austin the American, too. Uh, so Utah goes blue. And also Mitt Romney, too. And then Nevada goes red, obviously. You know, DX Deity endorses Tucker Carlson. He loves Tucker Carlson. Spends billions of dollars on those prostitutes. Makes the state go red. Oregon goes blue because Antifa is suppressing the Republican vote even in 2024. Washington goes blue, obviously. Post his endorsement. He still loves AOC and the Green New Deal because it's so good. And then, obviously, the farm states go red because, you know... AOC is going to try to say, you know, the Green New Deal is going to work for you farmers, but, you know, Tucker Carlson is going to say, you don't want to be paying reparations, you know, white, those white farmers don't want to be paying reparations because races are bullshit and they're unreasonable. Um, so, and then Texas obviously goes red because my endorsement, you know, I'll do fiery rallies for Tucker Carlson, um, but Beto... Um, Beto does, does re fire rallies for AOC, you know, t talking about avocados, talking about, we need to take away your guns away, saying, why the hell are people buying guns? We need to take away those guns away, replace them with avocados, you know, you throw avocados instead of shooting guns, because it's much safer to throw avocados, obviously. And Beto's going to be force-feeding people av avocados in his rally, it's going to be reasonable, and also Michael Bloomberg's going to be spending billions of dollars in ads to try to get Texas to turn blue, but it won't. And then Colorado goes blue, you know, it's a, it's a very libertarian state, you know, weed a big issue there. And AOC easily appeals to the weed issue, so she's going to win Colorado easily. And New Mexico, you know, demographic changes obviously made New Mexico blue, go blue, and it will stay blue. And then the rest of the South goes red, you know, because Republicans are racist, they're bullshit, they're unreasonable. So the whole South goes blue, I mean red. And then um, Georgia also goes red, you know, Allen's endorsement, you know, keeping the suburbs red. And then Florida goes red, you know, Xenox comes out huge for Tucker Carlson, does fiery rallies for him with sex laptop and Trump. Um, even though Jared Kushner is going to be saying, nah, you, you don't want to endorse Tucker Carlson, you know, because he's racist. And, you know, Trump doesn't want to look racist, even though the left already thinks he's racist. So Trump still comes out for Tucker Carlson regardless. So he still campaigns for him in Florida and it makes the cycle red. And then North Carolina, it's going to go red. You know why? Because Backstar, is, he's going to be trying to get huge black turnout for AOC, but it's not going to work out. You know, because Tucker Carlson is going to do a good job with Tom Tillis to suppress the black vote in North Carolina. And also Faraway comes out huge for Tucker Carlson, does fiery rallies for him, and keeps the state red. And then AOC easily wins Virginia, you know, gets huge Northern Virginia support. Even though the establishment hates AOC, they hate Tucker Carlson way more. So they're going to come up for AOC, but Tucker Carlson gets George Allen's endorsement. And then, uh, and then Tucker Carlson easily wins West Virginia because, you know, Fletcher and her army of simps come out huge for Tucker Carlson since, um, you know, the, a, the Green New Deal is bad for coal workers. So obviously West Virginia easily goes red. Ohio easily goes red. You know, Dylan Wiley, White Stained Glass, presses the black vote, does fiery racist rallies in Ohio, keeping the state red. Um, and suppressing Nina Turner's endorsement for AOC. And then Illinois goes blue. You know, um, Illinois goes blue because Nathan's orangutan and Nathan's going to fail to get the orangutan vote out. Huge for Tucker Carlson. But AOC gets huge um, Karen turnout in the suburbs of Illinois. So it's going to make the state go blue. You know, the Karens think AOC is, you know, crazy good. So it's reasonable. And then State Senator Red Eagle Politics is going to come out huge for Tucker Carlson do doing fiery rallies with Kathy Zhu um, for Tucker Carlson in Michigan, making the state go blue. But Gretchen Whitmer does fiery rallies for AOC, talking about how much the Green New Deal is going to bring back all these egg and pickle jobs. But Patriot says no and does fiery rallies for Tucker Carlson, saying that, that Tucker Carlson will bring back the egg and pickle jobs that Michigan has lost over the years. So Michigan goes red. And then Wisconsin goes red. Obviously, BJ Blitz, not a huge fan of AOC. Um, Joe Biden, though, is going to be sniffing AOC's uh, hair during, during the fiery rallies, and it's going to be reasonable. Um, Wisconsin goes red, though. And then Minnesota goes red because right-wing radical does fiery rallies for Tucker Carlson in, um, 
in Minnesota. And um, but Elon Omar does fire rallies for AOC. But you know, it's a very weird state. So honestly, Tucker Carlson wins because Minnesota is weird, very weird. And then DC goes blue, Maryland goes blue because LT does huge K-pop rallies for um, AOC um, in Maryland. Delaware goes blue because Kevin and Finnegan be riding with bad and now you know Kevin does fiery naked rallies with Finnegan in Delaware for AOC because you know they're Democrats now they hate Republicans now New Jersey goes blue Connecticut goes blue Pennsylvania goes red because Fletcher's endorsement of Tucker Carlson and her fiery rallies and her simp vote is going to carry over through western Pennsylvania where the Green New Deal is also very unpopular but Mike does fiery rallies in the suburbs trying to keep it blue but it won't be blue and then New York goes blue, you know, AOC talking about those Yappa mess jobs, you know, Fish, and, Fish endorses AOC talking about those Yappa mess jobs, how they're important for upstate New York, how we need to enslave all these people, all these white people in, in upstate New York, you know, force them to, to work at Yappa mess. Um, um, but, and so the state goes blue, you know, they're going to be you, forced to vote for AOC in New York. And then Rhode Island goes blue, Massachusetts goes blue, you know, Matt Gagden is going to love the Green New Deal. Uh, because AOC is going to trick him into thinking it's it means reparations so he can get more Big Macs, but in reality it's going to mean it's going to mean he's going to eat a salad, so he'll regret it after the election. And then Vermont goes blue because Bernie's endorsement took a cross and obviously wins New Hampshire and he wins Maine. So our final electoral map has took a cross and winning 313 electoral votes to AOC's 225. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please leave video requests in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Kevin Gaming, out.